Right, so I'm just going to share some workflow tips about uh, running Native Instruments Machine as a plugin inside Ableton Live. Um, it's just some basic stuff that I've found really handy. Um, so I've got this um, example project, this is the remix I've just finished. Um, yeah, so as I said, I like to run Machine as a plugin inside Live. I know some people like to do it other ways, like use it standalone and then just export audio, but to me, you're really missing out on a lot if you do that. It's much more versatile running as a plugin. So I've got my um, machine plugin on this machine track here, and then I've got this drums group and all the individual um, outputs from machine I've got in different channels within that group. So I've got kick, snare, clap, it goes on. I've got percussion and other stuff. So that's just nice and neat way of setting it up. Um, so once you've got Machine as a plugin, you need to sync it up somehow. And um, Native Instruments have this feature now where you can send program change messages or MIDI notes from your door, Ableton Live, to the Machine plugin, and that will um, trigger scenes within Machine. Um, I don't actually do it that way anymore. I found a way that I think works better, but I'll just quickly go through. Um, using um, the program change messages to trigger scenes. So what I've got here is uh, a bunch of clips as you can see here and inside the clip there's actually um, there's no MIDI data except for down here where it says program. See how that says one and then on clip two it'll say two. That's the program change message and then when the machine plugin receives that it'll change to scene one, scene two, and so then you go through and you um, sequence the clips in live and it'll jump around in machine however you like. But I found that just really gets a little bit messy and also sometimes like when you're using the MIDI notes if you jump around and miss the start of a note then it won't trigger the, the next scene and I just got a bit frustrated with that. So I found a better way to do it. Um, first of all I'll just talk about uh, a bit of project organization. This is um, all important for how how I've got this set up. So after you've got a couple of loops together and you you got your tracks starting to take a bit of shape, I like to get the structure done as soon as possible. Um, so what I'll do, I'll go through and I'll start looping stuff and um, go through and put these locators in. So you hit create up here and then um, at locator. And you can see I've added them all in here, and then you click on them, hit Control R, and rename them. And um, see, I've got intro, verse one, bridge, hook, all going through there. And then what you want to do is open up your machine plugin and do the same thing with your scenes. Go through and name them the same way. So I've got uh, you know same thing, verse, bridge, hook like that. And then what you want to do, and this is really important to get it to sync up properly, see here I've got verse 1. Now that's 8 bars and I go to verse 1 in machine and on my drums group here, this pattern 2, that's 8 bars long. So I've got my kick, snare and hats on there, that's 8 bars. And then same thing with all the rest of them. So I just, I might just start with a 1 bar loop but then I just go through and you um, Hit the pattern button here, hit double, so you know you get your one bar loop, double it until it's eight bars long, and then I'll go through and uh, even if it's just the same loop, um, it's good to get the structure laid out and then go back and, and start adding in the details and tweaking it later. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, that's your patterns correspond, and then they're all the same length as the, the bars between the locators in live. And then here's the trick, here's this... Um, this loop scene sort of function in live and um, how you do that you just click on the uh, the first scene on this little bar here and then just drag it across sorry about the dodgy camera work so drag it across like that and what that means is machine will always just stay in sync now because the bars just match up so, you know, I hit 
first one, hit play there, load up machine and it, it's already playing there and then I'll go back to the live project, I'll jump around to this, um, this second bridge here, load it up, it's jump there. So it always just stays in sync now, and now I just don't, I don't have to touch anything, I don't have to bother with program change and all that other crap, it's just nice and easy and stay in, it stays in sync. And another cool thing is um, with these other groups underneath, they don't have to be 8 bars or 16 bars or whatever it is, they can be 1 bar, 2 bars, and it's just at least one of the patterns in the scene has to be the right length. So that the bars match up with um, live. So that's handy because, you know, with some percussion stuff, you might just have a one or two bar loop that you want to go keep going for the whole scene. And then later on, you know, you can come back and just quickly double that and drop stuff out, do some tweaks or whatever. Um, so the next cool little workflow tip after you set that up is um, using keyboard shortcuts in live. So what I do is you you hit this key button up the top here, and that turns on your keyboard shortcuts. Just close the other plug in here. And um, what I go through, I assign the numbers on the keyboard to these locators here, and that allows me just to hit number one, number two, and it just jumps to that locator in live. And so that's just really handy for navigating around on the fly. All I have to do, hit the button, you see the the uh, marker jump there, and then hit spacebar, play, hit five, jumps through like that, and you know, machine's still in sync, it's all good. And the other little cool keyboard shortcut that I use is um, down here on the machine track, I'll just hit that key assign uh, button again. So you see the little M there? So I've got the key M on the keyboard assigned to the machine track. And then I've also got, um, see right down the bottom there, I've just got the slash key assigned to the master channel. And then what that allows me to do, um, M will bring up the machine track. And as long as I keep the plugin window open, I just I hit M, brings up the plugin window, hit slash, goes away, hit M, comes back. So now I've got a really cool way of just navigating around the project, hitting the number key, hit play, hit M, brings up machine, do my edits, go back. And so, yeah, that's that's it really. I just thought that's a neat way of setting up your project, um, keeps everything really organized, lets you get in the flow, and um, yeah, I hope it's useful to some people. So my name is Megatroid, get on my website, megatroid.com. Um, I just finished this remix like yesterday, so have a listen on my SoundCloud too. Cheers.